Welcome back to our Two Minute Tuesdays with Trish and Pastor Dave. <laughs> two minute, two, two, two. I'm a little tired. You're a little tired a too. A little tired. This is exhausted, Trish and Pastor Dave. Yes. We had, we had a long week with youth events last week and then <laughs> lots of other stuff going on. So yes, a certain amount of exhaustion. Hope the question's easy. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. All right. Take it easy. <laughs> All right. Today's question. Is Jesus really <laughs> the Savior? Yes. No, it's go. really funny actually. Okay. What do pastors do? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> There's church on Sundays, but yeah. what else takes up your week? Oh, we go and hide in the closet <laughs> the rest of the week. You just press, it's like one of those displays where you press a button and we come out. And we yeah, and, and also it says, sincerely, a church newbie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. That is so cute. Okay, well, the, the, okay, the, the, well what do you do? <laughs> perfectly sensible question. All right, well, there's a lot of things we do and it changes from week to week, but I, I like to describe it like this that uh, being a pastor and having that as a full-time vocation kind of frees me up from worrying about things the way the world would. Mm. would. Like, you know, how do we pump this product out to people or sell it or, or you know, how do we make money or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. That we have one job, which is to look out for opportunities to share grace, especially among people who don't always experience that, like people who might be sick or underprivileged or whatever it is. That That's somebody true. in this big boat is watching out for that kind of thing. And we spend a lot of time during our week doing that. If you are ill, I will probably see you if you've lost loved ones, uh, if you're young, if you are in a marginalized population or whatever, that's where I tend to spend most of my time. And a lot of it is simply talking or relating or, or providing connections or assuring people that love is there for them, which is a really important message, especially nowadays, mm -hmm. because we're all still kind of post-pandemic isolated. Yeah. We've lost the social fabric that brings us together. And when we come together, it's usually for a purpose, like I said, to sell something or to win a game or something. <laughs> What if there were relationships that just depended on love and was there for you no matter what? That's kind of what we do. And it'll depend, it's everything from sitting and having coffee with someone to doing a funeral to, I don't know, writing musicals for kids so that they can <laughs> share their gifts. All that stuff happens, it just depends on the week. Uh-huh, and yeah. when you're not doing that, right. You're stuffing your face with empanadas. That's right. <laughs> well, I mean, finding God's grace. Yeah, it's like finding God's grace through different means is one of our mm -hmm. big jobs. It's not my job to bring God to you. God is already with you. How is God in the midst of Taco Bell and empanadas or in the midst of dog sitting or whatever it is that you do, mm -hmm. we help you find that. And really, unless you take some time to specifically think about that, it's easy to think life is just your series of tasks that you complete on your way to what? I don't know. And we provide that bigger perspective too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks for that question from that church, church newbie. Church <laughs> newbie. Hope your experience is successful and that you find opportunities to share love and find God's spirit in your life too. Mm -hmm. All right. If you have your own questions, um, he has an email. Pastor at sov-id.org. And we have a website at myboisechurch.org. And new and improved coming soon. <laughs> yes. And um, a YouTube channel at My Boise Church. We that will see right. you next week for our next question. Yay! <laughs>